bunch of parts for Viking and UMI. I did start getting this K-member put together. Um, I just got the spindles on it for now on the lower control arm. It is a 408, uh, we just didn't build it. He bought it, um, I already built. It made like 500 horsepower on the dyno, so it's a solid build. Cap. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the winnest train, all that on, that way he can make sure all the clearances are right for the rods. I mean, it wasn't hitting before. Why you always lying? Why? Mm, oh my God. Got all the rockers torqued down, heads torqued down. So we got most of the accessories on the motor. I didn't get any of it recorded, but my brother went ahead and started knocking it out. I'm gonna go ahead and get the power steering pump put on. Um, and then we're gonna start marking up all the pro charger brackets, get all that assembled. Most of the wire harnesses are already all plugged up. Oil pressure sensor, cam sensor, coolant temperature sensor. seat compressor it will be on holly so this is a holly harness here yeah, we got everything cooling crossover all the stuff we need to get this thing done see we got the whole front drive on i'm going to start putting the pro charger kit on all right so we got the crankshaft pinned bolt is in
All right, so the belt is nice and straight. Everything is lined up from what it looks like on the eye. Everything is tight onto the blower. All right, we got a monster clutch going on this thing. Got an upgraded slave with a speed bleeder line and all that and make it so much easier to bleed the clutch. Do you have any idea how fast I am? Triple disc for an F body. Monster clutch for the win. All right, so we got the intercooler on, and then as you can see, the engine is in, Pro Charger is there. So we were gonna just throw this stock T56 in until it disintegrated. But the customer actually just ordered a stage six RPM tram. So that's why I didn't put the transmission in um, or anything. He ordered an SFI bell housing and then a stage six RPM transmission that's good for like 1500. So um, that way we don't have any weak points in the car, but all the rear suspension is tied in. So once that comes in from RPM, then we'll pick back up on this video. As of right now, that's all the content we got on the Trans Am. Once the transmission comes back in, we'll pick back up.